In today's video, I'm going to share a simple and clean way that you can mount conduit parallel to a flat surface in your project. And we did a video a while back on this exact same subject, and we showcased a few different solutions that I still think are pretty good overall and have some unique advantages and disadvantages. But overall, I'm really happy with this new solution, and I think it's going to be my go-to recommendation moving forward. Exactly what we're trying to do here is, like I said, mount conduit parallel to a flat surface. This is because whenever you're building off of a flat surface, you can do really two things. You can build where you have your flat surface and you attach the conduit and it comes straight out, and then you build off of it. Or if you want the conduit to be as close as possible to the flat surface that you're mounting it to, then you need some kind of a flange solution that securely mounts it and gets it close to the wall and keeps that gap between the conduit and flat surface as minimal as possible. And like I said, we did some other solutions in the past and showcased different things. This solution works really well and it's really easy to accomplish. And basically all you need is a quarter 20 lipped insert as I have here. And we've talked about these extensively on the channel. You can find these on the Maker Pipe website. And basically these just hammer into the end of conduit or you can use some of the other methods that we've talked about on the channel. I'll link a couple videos down below. But you just hammer this into conduit and have it in the end as you can see here. And then you're going to use two of the base pieces. And this is from the adjustable angle flange that we designed and made for mounting conduit off of an angle off of a flat surface. And we actually have now on the website just these two pieces by themselves. So you can pick them up for just this solution and you know, use them in this way without the end clamp. And basically all you're going to do is take the, one of the flange base pieces and then you're just going to get a quarter 20 bolt because the hole in the connector pieces can accept a quarter 20 size. Basically, you just put a quarter 20 bolt through and then thread that into the lipped insert. And I probably should have got a shorter bolt for the video, but I'll just thread it in here. And then eventually you can tighten it in place. And once you do this, you're gonna have a really strong parallel conduit mount for your build. And as you can see here, it's really low profile and I didn't tighten it all the way. All right, there we go. Once you tighten it all the way, then you can see it's really low profile. But what's really cool is there's just enough of a gap between the flat surface and the parallel mounted conduit that you can attach a connector and build off of it. And like I said, this is a really clean solution that works great and it's strong. And if you want to increase the strength of this even more, you can do a hack that we talked about uh, in, uh, I guess, last week's video, actually, where basically you stack an insert. So you'd put a lip insert on top of the no lip insert and then hammer it in. So that way you've got double the engagement between uh, both inserts there. But I think this is already by itself going to be a strong solution. Of course, you want to test it for yourself, like everything that we share, and make sure it's the right thing for your build, uh, you know. Don't recommend doing like vertical, uh, you know, pull up bars or something with it. You, you want to make sure it's the right thing for the project you're doing. And of course, build safe as always. But this does have some advantages. I think it's a lot stronger than the methods that we talked about, especially like the, the curtain rod holder with the set screw. Um, I think this is much stronger than that. And in my opinion, just looks really clean and it's really simple to accomplish. And what's something that's really cool is you could do the same thing with the other flange that we make and basically have two pieces of conduit running between two flanges here, as you can imagine here. And you could have two pieces secured and you could turn this into like a rail system, maybe for like a trolley system or something. Who knows? I think there's cool possibilities there. And that's really awesome. And something else too that you could do is you could continue the run. So basically, you can imagine if you had a bolt sticking out of this end of the conduit, you could thread this through the flange piece and into the other piece of conduit. So let's say you're building a canopy, which is a common way that we see people use parallel flanges like this. If you've got like a 20 foot long span, and you wanna break that up every five feet to make it really strong and rigid, then you could do that. So you could have a five foot piece of conduit and then come in with your other five foot piece and then thread that through it. And it'll just sit between the two pieces of five foot. And basically you could continue that technique all the way down and make sure that you're really reinforce your canopies in your builds. And I think this is really useful and I'm really excited to share this with you guys and hopefully you find it useful as well. If you did leave a like and consider subscribing, we really appreciate it and we'll see you in the next video.